with Positive Med. I'm here with Dr. Nasseri. Um, he's a specialist in restorative dentistry. I'd like to have Dr. Nasseri tell a little bit about your practice, please. Hey, Eddie, how are you? It's great Thank to meet you. with you guys. Thank you. Um, my practice is, uh, I'm a generalist. Uh, however, uh, for the past uh, 15 years, I have uh, concentrated uh, mostly in implant reconstruction and um, uh, neuromuscular or temporomandibular joint disorders. Um, I find that uh, a lot of the two work hand in hand, and then in order to restore people in a proper position with the right restorations, you really have to understand the function of uh, the jaw joint muscles and neck. And, and, uh, and uh, so that has been my work for the last 10 to 15 years. Perfect, thank you so much. And um, also, uh, with your main focus is also on um, implants. A big part of my practice is implant. I uh, decided, of course, I've been restoring implants ever since graduation 20 years ago. Uh, but about 10-12 um, years ago, I decided I really like this surgical field uh, as well, and I like to do my own surgeries, and I started uh, to take uh, the courses with uh, uh, prominent teachers in the field, like Dr. Manish, and uh, uh, I found that a lot of my patients actually prefer to have everything done in one place, and one person being responsible for the whole thing, and, uh, no more sending in from one office to another, and, um, and it's an enjoyable part of my practice. I, I really like surgeries. We, we have you know, over 20 years experience um, in Miami Beach. You've, you've been in Miami Correct. Beach for 20 years. Wow, and you have a gorgeous office. Thank you. Thank You're very welcome. Um, Doctor, can you tell us a little bit about, for someone who wants to have come and have an implant done, um, do they have to have a specific um, Problem? Do, can anyone have this done? And what what is the procedure? Well, the first part of like any other part of medicine, the proper way of doing things is the proper diagnosis. Obviously, um, we no longer, you know, in our society, at least where we are, it's not acceptable to walk around with missing teeth. Um, you know, and. Um, the proper diagnosis is by the clinical examination, the right radiographs, and uh, uh, estimation of how much bone the person has, a review of medical history to make sure they have, uh, you know, they're, they're healthy, uh, and so on and so forth. So, uh, but I would say yes, most everybody would be a candidate for this procedure. And doctor, like most of our uh, fans have this question that. What is the difference between an implant and a bridge? Okay. Um, so, bridge work is something that um, we've been historically done in dentistry for over 100 years probably. So, it's where you have two teeth, you have a missing dentition, missing tooth, and the teeth on either side of the space get basically shaved down. And then and, and then a prosthetic appliance made that gets cemented over those two adjacent to the space and basically the space is closed. So that we call a bridge. That is a fixed bridge, meaning it's something that does not come out. And in my in my years of experience, you know, work, I've done plenty of those. But I can tell you in the last 10 years, uh, it has come to, to a minimum amount per year. So, uh, we try not to touch natural dentition. If they are healthy and they are untouched, why would we take a single tooth you know, problem and turn it into a multiple tooth problem? Because uh, bridge work, I would say statistically in this country, and that's statistics, insurance statistics, um, they cover it, uh, insurance covers it every five to six years. So that tells you that that's the average lifespan of a bridge. Yes. Okay. Uh, now in our practice, we have patients that have had bridge work in their mouth for sometimes in excess of 15 years. Um, I would like to take credit for that, but it really has to do with the care and a number of different things. But as you know, most patients, you know, they come in for a while, they get work, and then they disappear, they may not get cleanings and upkeep. And bridge work has a lot of upkeep because now you have a space there that can 
easily collect food, and and those are the patients that sort of bring that that average down. Because in two or three years, all of a sudden they come back and they have all kinds of cavities around those abutment teeth that were prepped, and uh, because they didn't get their cleaning, they probably don't floss, they don't maintain. So um, those are the problems with the bridge. When you replace that area with an implant, then you don't create these things. You create a prosthetic in there that works and functions just like the original tooth. Yes, without damaging the... Without damaging the adjacent teeth. Yes, perfect. And cost-wise... Um... That's always something that comes up uh, in, uh, you know, in, in conversations. Yes, everybody so, wants to know how much it costs. Correct. So <laughs> I will tell you this. Um, in the short term, an implant is probably something between 20 or 25 percent more in cost. But that is a short term looking at it at that moment. Yes. As I said, if you have to redo this bridge every five to six years, and let's say you're a 40 year old person, correct? Uh, in your lifetime, you're going to be replacing it another four or five times, and each time it's probably going to be a little longer and a little bit more involved, and it's going to need root canals and so on and so forth to the under, you know, underpinnings. It's tens of times more expensive. So it's a good time. investment. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, it, it, yes, if you look at it from a short standpoint of view, yes, it's a slightly more expensive, but long term, there's no Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Doctor. I really appreciate it.